good evening students uh, next to topic is plasmids plasmids and transposons okay so in previous class i have discussed about the uh, gene transformation how the gene is transferred from one bacteria to another bacteria transformation transduction conjugation topics i have completed so next to topic is plasmids and transposons plasmids and transposons okay so these plasmids and transposons in final exam they are two or three marks question two or three marks so first come to plasmids so what is plasmid so generally the bacteria contain a chromosomal dna it is a chromosomal dna and it is the plasmid dna chromosomal dna and plasmid dna so each and every prokaryotic cell containing chromosomal dna and plasmid dna so so it is a plasmid dna so this plasmid dna is circular and double stranded dna molecule and it containing a few thousands of base pairs and it replicate it replicate within the cells that means so from one plasmid to two plasmids are generated like this so it replicate within the cells and produce uh, another plasmids also like this okay so this is process we call as a replication process dna replication process so this dna replication plasmid dna replication takes place within the cells and produce so other uh, plasmid dna copies okay so and this plasmid dna is also act as a vector also act as a vector so this uh, vector uh, we are using in the recombinant dna technology recombinant dna technology for the production of uh, proteins for the production of proteins and vaccines also so already i have told in uh, recombinant dna technology so for the production of insulin hepatitis b vaccine okay and also some other blood clotting factors production so uh, we are using plasmid dna as a vector okay so this plasmid dna this plasmid dna we classified into uh, three types so first one is conjugative plasmids non conjugative plasmids and mobilizable plasmids so it is classified based on their ability to transfer to the other bacteria so this classification is based on the transfer ability to transfer to the other bacteria so first one is conjugative plasmid what is conjugative plasmids so these conjugative plasmids involved in the conjugation process for example it is a uh, bacteria it is another bacteria so this bacteria is called as donor it is a recipient so this bacteria is uh, containing chromosomal dna it is plasmid dna so this plasmid dna is transferred to the another bacteria okay so these uh, these type of plasmids we call as conjugative plasmids and non conjugative plasmids means so these plasmids not involved in the conjugation process they are not transfer uh, from one bacteria to another bacteria so that means they are not involved in the conjugation process and mobilizable plasmids means so for example it is a bacteria so it is a chromosomal dna it is a plasmid dna so this plasmid dna and transfer and attached are inserted here inserted in the chromosomal dna so generally it is called as hfr high frequency recombinant cell okay so this plasmid this plasmid we call as 
mobilizable plasmid so this mobilizable plasmids mobile mobilize uh, within the cells okay uh, so these are called as mobilizable plasmids so these are also called as intermediate uh, plasmids intermediate plasmids so examples are so examples f f plasmid second one is r plasmid third one call e1 plasmid already know uh, fourth one pbr 322 so these are some uh, plasmids examples so f plasmid means fertility factor plasmid so r means resistance antibiotic resistance plasmid call e1 plasmid pbr322 so these are act as a vectors in recombinant dna technology so next topic is transposons so transposons are the genes so these are specific sequences of dna segments generally these are the genes of dna that have the ability to move from one plasmid to another plasmid so generally these uh, genes of dna transfer from one plasmid to another plasmid or from plasmid to chromosome or from chromosome to plasmid or within the chromosome so generally this dna uh, genes transfer from one plasmid to another plasmid and plasmid to chromosome and chromosome to plasmid or within the chromosomes such type of genes such type of such type of genes uh, we call as transposons such type of genes we call as transposons and because of this mobile nature they are named as jumping genes so these transposons also called as jumping genes and these are also called as transposable elements these are also called as jumping genes or transposons and also called as transpo transposable elements okay so this type of transfer of genetic material from one dna molecule to another dna we called as transposition so this is process we called as transposition so here the genetic material transfer from one dna molecule to another okay so generally the small transposons small genes so they are 1 to 2 kb and these are called as insertion sequences so these are called as insertion sequences and also uh, we refer is i s insertion sequences okay so these transposons attached at certain regions of chromosomal plasmid and phase dna see here so for example it is a bacteria so this bacteria containing plasmids and chromosomal dna for example this plasmid containing uh, genes okay this dna it is a dna containing genes for example this red color gene is transfer to the another plasmid transfer another plasmid and insert here transfer and insert here like this okay or sometimes this plasmid this plasmid dna containing gene transfer and insert in insert in chromosomal dna like this chromosomal dna sometimes so the genes transfer to plasmid transfer to plasmids and inserted here sometimes these genes are transferred within the within the dna like this transferred and insert here like this so these genes so see here these genes these genes transferable genes these genes we call as 
transposable elements transposable elements are transposons okay so it is about the plasmid dna and transposons so plasmid dna act as a vector and transposons are transferred from one dna to another dna okay thank you